We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FXL Analysis. We are marking up PRO USD. Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. We are on, on the monthly time frame. Price action can do is a bearish hammer. So market's working its way down from, from an area of support. So we don't know if that second last candle is a consolidation. We don't know if it was a single top that pushed down to push down further. And we don't know if it's a double top at that area. So we'll walk down and figure out what's going on. But we do know that market price did that thing about price, second last candle flat line uh, side by side. And market is just prop with, this, with the price action can do. And we may identify a break and retest that market. If not, then or we may identify a double bottom because we do have to price down to the bottom. On the monthly time frame is going to take us to walk down the truck and see what's really going on. Price action, um, we're looking at current price, which is that dotted line, um, red. So we grab the highest high. Price action, lowest low is the lowest wick. Price action, highest high is our highest wick. We're going to gauge the top to the bottom, drop the dip point right in the middle, as we can. Maybe drop down a little lower. And let's see what's going on. Headed down to the weekly time frame. Oh, that's a perfect spot. So let's take a look at what's going on. So I was right. So market did flatline. I mean, as we walk down further, you probably see some up and down consolidation in these areas as we walk to down because market's probably spiked up in that area, spiked down in that area. But we can clearly see on a weekly time frame, market did consolidate sideways with these uh, dojis. It was a consolidation of market. Market pushed down. Could be a retest, pushed down further. And it came back to retest again and pushed down further. And we could be in a we could be at a break and retest. Or some type of double bottom, <clears throat> but just identifying what's going on in this weekly time frame. Market consolidated sideways, broke third to last candle, look like a retest candle. The market pushed down further, spiked all the way back down to the low. So we should be identifying a break and retest as the colors identified and the patterns identified on that weekly time frame. On the daily time frame, let's see what's going on. Price action is a solid green bullish candle. So market price is trying to work its way up. It's having some irritation of breaking the second to last candle. Um, highest wick in some of that body in that area. We did get a break of that body of price at the second last candle. So we're going to drop an SR line just to see what's going on. So we can follow through with the break and retest as we walk down that time frame. We're going to also put an SR line at the bottom of that second last candle wick. You can see that market should be bounced up and down in that area of consolidation. So what I see on this structure, market broke, came back to retest, and markets that pushed down, and markets hanging out as midpoint. So we gotta figure out what's going on as we walk down further. Headed down to a four hour time frame. On the four hour price action candle is a bearish solid candle, small. Okay, a little wick at the bottom, so it could be a little hammer forming. Price action is, is within the second last candle doji. So that means price action can do the doji as well. And something's forming in that near price. So we should be waiting for a breakout can be happening. So let's identify what we see so far. Market one, two, three, four, fifth to last candle spike to the high. The last candle spike to the high could have came back down for second, third. So we got about three pushes to that top. Second last candle is a retest. Market's trying to push down, coming from some midpoint of this area here. Headed down to a three hour time frame to see what we see. On a three hour, multiple pushes to that top, four pushes to that high, and the market's trying to come back to retest. The second last candle was not an engulfing of the third to last candle. That's just an area of support. We want price action to break below the second last candle. We can probably close out. Multiple candles form. Let's see that market's going to form a pattern. So we don't know what's going on here just yet. So market did break. It did, is at the retest. We're going to see that market's going to be respected for that market to push up. And if it doesn't, Back up multiple the overall when it's back up to that high market comes back down for a break and retest. Could be a double top, could be a single top market. We're looking for market to return back to this area here if that market does pop from a single double top or maybe multiple pushes to that top. We don't know how many times price is gonna ride up in that area of resistance of consolidation. Second last candle, excuse me, two hour time frame. Price action is a price action, second last candle is bearish hammered. Price action has a little bit of a wick out down at the bottom, a little bit of a um, huge mallet, a little stick. 
So market broke, came back to return. We got a double bottom at the bottom here hanging out. Side by side, market's consolidating. So market's in a range, so we identify that. As we walk down a time frame, as we can see, market broke, came back to retest, pushed up to a high, came back to retest again. So market is already identifying a double top. When we get that break and retest, we look probably look for a double top, one, two, retest, market drops further. If market's gonna be respected, we're looking for that market respected for the first, second, third. We're looking for some type of pattern to form itself in this area here, primarily an engulfing pattern, maybe after the doji, maybe, maybe not, and the market pushes up. Look for that W, look for that retest market, will work its way up further. Headed down to a 45 minute time frame. Price action, second last candles at an area of bearish to bearish candles that's retesting side by side, some type of double bottom that could be happening in that area. Market's having a hard time breaking the previous area. Price action on the monthly 30 minute time frame. Price action, second, third, fourth. The market is in a tight range consolidation. So if you think about connecting from one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth last can do, we'll wake all the way to those bodies connected, and we connect those areas support down to the bottom. We can see that market's in that tight wedge pattern, which we can see it broke, retest, pushed down further, and we're gonna see if it's gonna be expected for that market to come up with that W, or come come down, so it'll be coming from a third, second, third, fourth, retest, market drops down, so double top of the retest, or triple top price is coming from one to three hour time frame excuse me, on a 30 minute time frame, if it pushes down further. <coughs> Price action on the um, 15 minute time frame, second, first, second, last candle, doji. Very look like a doji slash bearish hammer. We got hammers and doji. So price action is a small doji within the second last candle, which matching up with the third, fourth, fifth, last candle. Combination candle for that overall push out for this area would be the one, two, three, four, fifth candle. We're looking for price to close above this area here to see if we're going to get that breakout. Headed down to the five, five minute time frame to see what's going on. We can see that structure forming. We see that W forming at the area at that low. Could be the first, second, third. I can push up on that fourth. We can park it to return back to this area here. If it breaks, get double bottom. Mark is working his way up. Mark is pushing down from that area of resistance. We look for that first, second, third. Mark is coming down, coming from a double top. or making a double top in that formation and push it down. So we on the third leg, maybe entering the fourth leg. Head down to a three minute time frame to see what's going on. So price is trying to come back down for maybe a retest back to area support before coming back up. Or maybe this is just enough to retest at that high of resistance. The market work his way up a high in new areas or previous areas of high highs. So we could be looking for a first, second, third, fourth, retest one, retest two, retest, and that will be the third push up once market shows bearish, um, bullish candles after this bearish candle, or maybe a few after this bearish candle, market could push up. Edit down to one minute time frame to see what's going on in the market. Price actions of doji. So market's in that high area of consolidation, hanging out at that resistance of that high. All the way from first, second, third, fourth, fifth, maybe the last 10, 15 candles, 10 candles in the market is all retail, all consolidation of some type of doji at higher their resistance, waiting for a breakout to happen or a breakout or mark market won't be able to break out that area of resistance come down further. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Day Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. Please catch up on Forex Pattern Cheat Sheet. Click on Images. Very important to find patterns in the market. Breakout retest strategy happen every time at resistance or support. If it doesn't happen, it's going to come back down and happen. You always have to create that staircase pattern. To work its way up or work its way down. If the staircase pattern isn't created, then I mean, eventually the market's going to drop back down to create the area of support. That's how the breakout retest is always identified or will be identified eventually in the market. Hey guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching. Pay attention. P R O U S D.